Today marks the start of Hispanic Heritage Month. Over the next few weeks, Fox 5 will be recognizing and celebrating the many cultures and contributions of New York's Latino community. Jessica Formoso kicks off our coverage with a focus on small businesses and their recovery from the pandemic. Jessica. Well, Steve, that's right. In 2017, New York City had 12,215 Hispanic small businesses. That number is believed to have increased since. As we kick off Hispanic Heritage Month, I spoke to business owners who are thriving even during a global pandemic. Latinos make up 27.5% of New York City's population. Their influence is being felt in politics, culture, and the economy. The Hispanic communities it helped all the small business like me. Victor De Leon owns Victor Bike in Washington Heights. The Dominican native opened up his bike shop 27 years ago and says while he's had challenges, he's been able to keep the doors open even through a global pandemic. For him, business is better than ever. 100%, 100%. The pandemic, the people don't like to use the trains, use the uh, public transportation. Everybody wants the bicycle right now. This is the problem. Any bicycle store you don't have bicycle we sold out all the bicycle according to the new york city hispanic chamber of commerce latinos are starting businesses at a faster rate than the national average growing 34 percent over the last 10 years let alone in between 18 and 2019 their net revenue grew about 18 percent that said covid though has impacted many of them and most of these businesses were the ones that suffered the most because of social distancing and they were we're not ready to face this and uh, you know it was an economic downturn that hit not only the owners but the, it cascaded into unemployment for their employees who happen to be Hispanic as well. And it's been the case for restaurants like Tuca Chapa. Once COVID you know started happening in the city um, the you know all the restaurants started to close earlier than usual killing their sales. The Venezuelan restaurant opened its doors 11 years ago and it's been rough lately. I will say that 30 or 40 percent of sales decrease you know in the past uh, two years. Larry Guillen is the manager. The owner was a little scared at some point because we couldn't manage to pay the whole employment uh, payroll for the uh, employees that we have. The Chamber of Commerce says they've partnered up with several financial institutions throughout the city and have helped business owners secure loans. Although there were some assistances that came out from government, uh, many of them lack the knowledge and the know-how of how to keep their financial records up to date. Even though Latinos continue to struggle to secure capital, they are hardworking people who take care of each other. This is our community. We work together are we enjoying together? Now, many may be wondering why Hispanic Heritage Month starts in the middle of the month. Well, September 15, 1821 was when the Central American countries, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua, declared their independence from Spain. And in 1989, President Reagan declared it a month-long holiday. Steve? Very nice. All right. Thanks, Jessica.